Okay, so we're going to go to sketch, and then you're going to click the top plane, and I'm going to go in the top view. And I'm going to create a uh, corner rectangle, and I'm going to click on this right here and go up to dimension. Click this here, so this is going to be one, and then hit enter. And then top and the bottom is going to also be one. So this is the first shape. And then we're going to go to extrude at the top. And then if it's not selected, you can click on the, the sketch. And then it's going to create. And your depth, we're going to change it to two. And then we're going to hit check. And then go to isometric. And then this is what we have. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our top view. We're going to go to sketch again. Click on the top. And we're going to sketch another corner rectangle. This is going to go this way. And um, we're going to dimension this. So it's going to be proportional. So we're going to do one. And then from the top and the bottom, it's going to be in a half. So that will kind of look like that. Okay. Actually, it looks a little bit smaller than that. So 0.25. That looks better. So then now we're going to um, extrude that. And it looks like it's the same length as the other one. So we're going to hit one. It's here. Okay. And then here's your second shape. Oops. So go back to extrude. We're going to change the depth to this to two. So double click and then hit check. And there it goes. So now it looks like the same. Okay, so in the next one, we're going to hit sketch, click the top plane, and then we're going to sketch another corner rectangle. And it's just going to be a little bit higher. So we're going to go up to dimension, click on the first line. This is going to be one. And then from the top and the bottom is going to be 0.25 because it looks like the same. And it's a little bit taller. So I'm going to accept my sketch, go up to extrude click on this box here and this is going to be about three because it looks taller so you're going to check your isometric and then it looks a lot higher okay okay the next one we're going to do is the circle so the circle is going to be sketch click on the top plane click my circle i'm going to make my circle here and i'm going to dimension my circle and i'm going to change my um go up to dimension click on the circle this is going to be one inch. And then you're going to extrude. And this looks like the same as the other one. So we're going to click on that circle, change it up to two, hit check. Okay, let's check it. We have isometric. Okay, so now we're going to do this one in the front view. And we're going to build it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to build it. Press the dang circle. From, okay, so then next thing we're going to do is the semicircle. So I'm going to sketch here. I'm going to do the three point arc. And then there we go. So that's one way to do it. Um, another way is you can actually, to make it a little bit more accurate, we're going to do a circle here. And then we're going to cut the circle from here all the way through here and I think that will make it more accurate and then hit escape you can go up to the top and you trim part of that and then you're going to um, extrude this part so it looks like it's about one inch Oops. so let's double check we have one inch okay last but not least we have our um, last sketch we're going to start with a corner rectangle Oops, that didn't work so i'm going to delete that corner rectangle and we're going to click from here to here and we're going to dimension this so this is going to be a uh, one by let's say maybe one by two okay and we're going to extrude it up and it looks like it's one inch as well so check that okay so that looks good and you can actually go in and hide all this if it's like in your way. Actually, I'm going to go in the back view. Okay, so in my back view, I'm going to create the arc. So I'm going to sketch, click on this, and then create a three point arc in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to dimension this, so make it equal. So go dimension, click here, here, 
um, 0.25, and then let's see, try here, here. See how that looks, 0.25, and then maybe change this, the radius. So maybe it's a half. Now let's do. That looks too big. So let's see. Escape. Let's just make that list smaller. There you go. That looks better. So I just kind of moved it down so that the center point is right here. And then you're going to go to extrude, but you're going to extrude to remove. And we're going to uncheck this box and only click on the, the arch. And that's going to remove, click the remove here, and it's just going to remove that piece. And then hit check. And that's it. You are done.